The next tribute, the sixth tribute, is going to be done by a gentleman named Jim Hurley. And those of you who saw any DCA contest in the middle 70s through the middle 80s probably recognize this gentleman because uh, he did a lot of judging. And um, then he disappeared. Then he disappeared. <laughs> um, Jimmy has a, a brother who most of us have heard of uh, called Marty Hurley. Marty Hurley uh, started out in the Asbury Park Hurricanes in uh, Asbury Park, uh, uh, New Jersey, and then later on um, moved to, put, to be the instructor at Hedden Street. Well, they, before I get to that, he was a snare drummer in the Blessed Sacrament drum line, the very well known, very famous Blessed Sacrament drum line, along with Jimmy. And then later on, uh, moved to be the percussion instructor of the uh, Phantom Regiment. So a well-known judge, a well-known instructor, and a well-known brother. And I'm sure that his brother is very proud to do this. So Jim Hurley, take it away. Sorry, I'm overdressed. I didn't know. I was with drummers. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school in Wilkes many, many years ago and followed my brother. You did a lot of thing, right? Uh, <laughs> the old Wilkes College before it was university. Played at this place many times, getting through college. Uh, Marty was born in 1946 and he passed away in 2011 and uh, most thing I miss about Marty is him saying Jimmy you're full of shit <laughs> <laughs> it's what I want to hear <laughs> so this is a, a drum which I won't play on which is a uh, 71st regiment of foot soldiers Frasers and it's it's a beautiful drum that already got given by Premier. It's lovely looking, it sounds terrible, so I won't drum on it. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about instructors who had big ones, Eric Landis, who I taught with many years ago, Eric Landis called the shots as they were. We came in, our blessed sacrament, big top drum line from winning, I don't know, some major contest, and we were terrible. Eric took us to near zero that day. The kids wanted to jump him, and it was just like, no, we're that bad. Eric was one of those judges, too. I'm proud that, Eric. You want to remember that, Eric? No. How do you feel now, Eric? <laughs> so, I didn't know what to present, and I didn't have, know how long, how many minutes there was, so I'll make this very brief. Uh, Marty was a fabulous drummer when he got the Blessed Sacrament in 65, the first year I was there. He had learned all the snare parts out at Wilkes College. And I sent him to him. We worked and practiced back and forth, sitting on our little tapes and stuff. He was that good, he made the snare line. And then Mr. Thompson said to him, Marty, I have three snares. We just lost a tenor drummer. Could you play tenor for me this year? Marty just learned parts in a week, was on the field playing tenor. That's the kind of guy he was. He's always been that way. So I want to play something that I think represents Marty. Uh, and there's a, a book that I produced, the whole proceeds going to Brother Martin High School, where he taught in New Orleans for 39 years. When the hurricane came in Katrina, Marty was a runner and a DCI instructor with Phantom all those years. He ran in every city that there's ever been out here. Marty ran 15 miles a day. So he's seen the entire east, west, every place there was to be, you know, even running in love across Wisconsin. Yeah, I know, <laughs> good court. Uh, but it's, it's very, very interesting. So here comes Katrina, and Marty calls me. I said, Marty, getting out of city? He says, no, I'm gonna run into the, he said, I'm gonna run into that damn hurricane. And when, I, when it pushes me back, I'll the fastest I'll ever run. And that's what he did, and he stayed. He was, a year and a half later, they opened up his high school, Brother Martin. He cleaned every day. So he was that type of guy, very devoted. This is something that I wanted to in tribute to Marty. And I thought I'd do it on this. Is that too loud? No. I thought I'd just do it on this uh, very hard pad. We, when we learned to drum as children, I wanted to play violin. Marty wanted to play the drums. My father taught us. And it, was the, it wasn't the uh, hurricane. We started in the O'Brien Major Post, the, which was the Shorelanders which my father was the drum instructor. My father, we were a very poor family, and my father was a crossing guardsman on a, on a railroad tracks. 
going down into Belmar, which got wiped out by Sandy to that, that hurricane. Uh, so we would drum on a cold stove, and that's how we learned to drum. I didn't want to drum. I just did it because my big brother was doing it. I used to run the numbers going down a track for my father for horse racing. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that Marty really loved, okay? And it's the Thompson solo that we played in 67 in Blessed Sacrament with our five snares and our five tenors. I'll play it three or four different ways. It's a tribute to Mr. Thompson, but it was Marty's favorite because it was so beautiful and maybe not the way I play it now, but it, it, the, the lilt of it is beautiful. I'll play this. Oh, and the Syracuse Brigadiers also played this. Uh, uh, that year. Here's a solo. We called it the Army 2468. We didn't know. We had no clue what this solo was. It was number three in our, in our repertoire of things. But it went back from 24 to 68, and it was so ancient. But we, of course, I'll play it slow so you can hear what we played on the field, and I'll play it a little faster. This is the Army 2468. from 6-8 to, to the duples and 2-4. <clears throat> so I wrote this for Marty in this book, because that's how my nose got crooked, uh, because we argued as uh, being the younger brother, I always lost the fights. And that's so why I wrote this in his honor. It's called a prelude, so that you can get to your sticking right and you can move from 2-4 to 6-8. So it sounds like this. quite a little bit short. <coughs> Here's the way we played it on the field. At 132, Mr. Landis can tell you, with five snares, five tenors, and two swinging rudimental bases, I used to always go after him. You see, saw Eric Landis close to your drum line, you sent the rudimental bases after him. And he just looked at him and stopped, and he can tell you that, and they never touched him. But here it is, this is the Army 2468. We competed against the Cavaliers, and. The Kilties and all these fabulous drum lines. We just didn't think it was as hard playing all the. We thought this was very, very hard. No one could play that on the field. And then, five years before Marty died, he calls me and says, Jimmy, I heard there's something out there called the Doozy 6-8. I said, I don't think I've ever heard of that more. He says, it's a solo that we like, but Mr. Thompson wrote it many, many years ago, and it's truly in 6-8. And I just come out way late, and, you know, and he passed away, and I was looking through my notes one day, and here I had the original Mr. Thompson gave me. And I felt so, so sad. So in Marty's honor, I wanted to play this. This is Mr. Thompson's rendition, and we knew that he had to be drinking. He had to be drinking. Everything is wrong about it. Everything is turned around. The accents are totally... I'll play it slow in 6-8, and then I'll ask somebody to come up and use the metronome. This is what it sounds like in 6-8. Ah, oh, sorry.
party of Mr. Dave. Thank you very much. Excellent.